first. It is the biggest economic development project in Kansas history. Panasonic is building an electric battery plant in DeSoto. It could bring thousands of jobs and billions of dollars to the area. KCTV 5's Emily Rittman has a closer look at those numbers. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly says she expects at least 4,000 new planned jobs with an additional 4,000 possible that could be created by the project. Right away, they expect 16,500 construction jobs. A Panasonic electric vehicle battery factory will be built where the former Sunflower Army ammunition plant once stood. DeSoto's mayor is elated. I actively have been pursuing something to happen here for 13 years, been a resident of DeSoto area all my life, and have been waiting for the last 20 some odd years like everybody else to see you know, when is something going to happen out here at this ammunition plant. Mayor Walker says community members will first see transportation improvements, then economic growth. But I think it's just going to give us the opportunity to do some things that we couldn't have imagined, you know, a year ago. Leaders are expecting 2.5 billion in annual estimated economic activity generated by the Panasonic project. It was a team effort. And the federal delegation, state legislators, local level, mayor, DeSoto and its community, the efforts that you've taken bring us all together today in which we can celebrate. All state incentives will be provided after Panasonic has made investments and hires workers. The incentives total an estimated $829.2 million. The chief executive officer of Kansas Policy Institute responded to the governor's announcement, saying in part, quote, the $1 billion subsidy to Panasonic will deplete general fund reserves and significantly diminish the likelihood of much needed tax cuts. Examples of potential lost opportunities include eliminating the income tax on retirees, reducing marginal income tax rates for everyone, and reducing the state sales tax rate. This is a day to celebrate, you know, uh, we just landed the largest economic development project and in the you know history the of our state. It takes money to make money, and this is an investment uh, where we're investing some money to be able to attract this, and we will get an incredible return on investment. You know, we calculate the numbers, it's going to be like a 1 to 26 return on investment. We expect that there will be a $2.5 billion annual economic activity boost. This is a developing project and we are beginning to just learn the initial details. KCTV5 will be there and let you know more information as this project gets underway. Reporting from Topeka, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.